Hello everyone, my name is Lucas from 505 Games. I'm the brand community manager. Joining us today we have Holly from PlayStation Access. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and Vida. Hi, I'm Vida from Remedy. I'm the associate community manager. And today we're going to talk about the footage we just shown at the PlayStation Access stage. We're here to ask Holly what she thought about it and what serves you on the game. So what did you think about all this footage we just shown? I'm actually, I saw, I was quite lucky. I did see the game at E3 when it was announced. I knew absolutely I had to get an appointment. I absolutely had to see the game. And I did see it behind closed doors. And I've been dying to see it again anyway. So I was, you know, I emailed the team like, can you please come on stage and show the game? And they did. But you also said that we could have something they hadn't seen before. So it was like, uh, it, it, you know, the, the demo ended in like a slightly bigger, stronger boss. Not a boss, it wasn't a boss. It was a, a mid-sized, powerful enemy, I'd say. A boss is like fine if you wanna if you wanna use those terms, but we're not really using those terms because there are bosses and they're bigger than this. Yeah, I was really excited to see it and I just loved the way we finally got to show you, I think for me the lighting is doing an awful lot and it's setting a lot of the tone for the game as well. So when you come through and the, that fight is all in the red mixed with the orange, it was really, really incredible. And it just set the tone. You knew you were fighting something stronger, something that wasn't normal. And it was just, it was just the way the environment blew up around you, the way you moved things. It was an incredible fight to look at, it really was. Obviously you have two approaches to the battle system. You have the gunplay, the traditional gunplay, and you have, you know, the ability to throw stuff at the enemies. If you, let's say, what's your approach? What would you choose to go with? I'm usually an all guns blazing kind of person. And I have to say, I actually don't think it's typical gunplay, what we're seeing from Remedy. The way the gun works and shifts and changes just shows that even they're trying to jig things up with even traditional gun gameplay. However, the telekinesis powers look so incredible to use. There's weight behind them, the movement, the twists and turns. When you pick up lights and lamps and how that moves around the environment, you'd want to use those powers just to see how incredible they look. You, you'd force yourself to have a mix of both gameplays because Remedy have made sure that they just both look incredible. What's your view on the protagonist, Jesse Fadden? I mean, I'm not just saying this because I'm a female with red hair, but I think she looks great. <laughs> Is there any chance you're going to cosplay her? I think she's cosplaying me. I'm not entirely sure yet. Give me a denim jacket, yeah, we'll find yeah. out. <laughs> valid point. Val very valid point now. I, I think it's just nice, to, you know, it's a character in that sense that you don't have to look special or be special, but you can fall into these worlds and then be pulled into a tale that's bigger than you. And I think a lot of us with imaginations, that's what we imagine. I mean, I'm not, none of us are special and we haven't got superpowers. So you always hope that one day you'll stumble onto something bigger than you and you'd be part of an adventure. You can relate to it in that way. What do you think about the setting? Because like, this is something different than what we've done before it's a bit more supernatural it's a bit more weird you can say that it's new weird um so yeah what are your thoughts on that i think at first i was kind of a bit worried it was going towards horror and i'm not a massive horror player what it has done is giving you a kind of a fearful suspense but it's done that in a really beautiful way at first i was like i don't know you're in this building and does it look very interesting and then when we cleared out the hits and then it moved and it morphed and I finally understood what you were doing. This was like a place where you went off into different rooms and the different rooms could be anything and be anywhere. And you weren't limited by the fact you were in the building. I thought that was incredibly clever. So yeah, exciting. Okay, so yeah, Holly, first of all, thanks so much for having us here. Thanks so much for letting us show new control stuff. It was really fun. It was really cool to get on stage with you. And uh, thanks for your time. You gonna come back and hang out with me some more? Do you promise? I promise. Okay. I pinky swear. Well done. All right. Please, I would never. No, thank you so much. I, I can't thank you enough for coming and allowing me and everybody else to see Control again. And I can't wait to follow its journey. I really, really can't. I want to see what you guys are doing and I want to see how it progresses because I, I really think you've got something special. So I want to see it. Thank you so much. And we will be showing more soon.